I'm Luke Sanza from BenuEagles.com for our student athlete spotlight. And this week with me, we have junior women's basketball player Enza Ronella. Enza, thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me. So, how's the start of the semester been? I know it's been really cold outside. Maybe that's kind of tough to get acclimated to the weather and stuff. But how's classes going for you? Um, you know, uh, classes are great. Um, uh, you know, we're in the prime time of basketball season, so that's awesome. Um, but I'm just really loving everything right now. I'm having a lot of fun on the basketball court, so can't ask for much more. And you guys had fun on Tuesday. Uh, big close win against Aurora. So how really big was that win for the program? You know, that was, uh, you know, extremely big. You know, it's crunch time, so we need to win, you know, as many games as possible from here on out because we want, you know, the home seating for, you know, the four, mm -hmm. top four teams. Um, but, you know, winning that game and pulling through as a team was really, you know, a huge victory for us. And uh, since you've gotten here, your, your, your offensive game has really improved from year to year. So what have you done, like in practice and stuff, to really improve that aspect of your game so much? Um, well, you know, I always, you know, am listening to coach's advice because, you know, you know, you got to hear what she's got to say. Um, I try to apply that as much as possible. And then also, you know, getting in the gym, you know, outside of practice and getting shots up um, has helped me so much because you have confidence, in, you know, in practice. And then you end up having confidence, you know, in the game, essentially. So, you know, those are the two things that I really, you know, try to zone in on. I always say on air that I think uh, in all both teams, I think you're the best at those gimmicks and one plays. You always you get to the paint, you get the shot, and you get the foul. So how have you been able to really kind of be so good at that? What kind of things do you do to really you know make sure you make those plays? Well, you know, like I I really focus in on you know trying to get to the hoop. Um, when I get there, I'm not focusing on like oh is this girl gonna follow me or not. I just try to get the ball in the hoop. Um, you know, a little acting kind of helps too. <laughs> trying to throw a little grunt in there if I get you know tapped or anything. So. Yeah, I just want to really finish. That's my that's my goal. Uh, you ever since you've been here, though, your main thing really though has been your defense. So how much do you take pride in being a defensive player? You know, defense is always there. You know, if you're off, you know, you can't make a basket or anything like that. Your defense, that's effort. So I always take you know huge pride. Even in high school, I took pride in my defense because that's effort. You know, it's how hard you can go for as long as you can go. So defense is you know my my, my foundation, mm -hmm. and that's what I like to build off of. You have a younger sister on the team, Marina, freshman. So, what's it like playing on a team with your little sister? Uh, okay, I absolutely love it. We go at it, whether you know we're joking around and like you know pulling each other's hair or something, or you know just you know boxing each other out or chasing after a ball, going after each other. It's great. We've been competitive our whole life, so having her here is just awesome. And do you see a lot of similarities in the games of you and Rena? Because it seems like you know she's a defensive player too. So do you see a lot of similarities in that? Um, actually, yeah. Uh, I'll, the other day I was watching film and I was like, oh yeah, good, good play, Enza. And then I like look on the like film. And I was like, wait, that's Rena. <laughs> so like, ah, oh, dig it. Um, but yeah, you know, defensively she's a little bit more aggressive, a little bit taller than me, so she can you know get her hands out. But you know, our defensive game and you know trying to get to the hoop, mm -hmm. that type of game, um, super similar. Yeah, I think she's going to follow some of path to you. She's really going to start to take off as yeah. years go on. Yeah, I think so, too. So uh, before before a game, what's on your iPad? What are you listening to to really get yourself pumped up? Um, I don't know. I listen to a lot of different stuff. But uh, right now, uh, the new Beyonce CD, <laughs> that's what the whole team's jamming to in the locker room before the game. So That's kind of the team pump-up album, I guess? Yeah, that's what we're listening to right now. <laughs> uh, who's your favorite athlete and why? Uh, okay, so this is a bit cliche, but I feel like it would be bad if I didn't say Michael Jordan. Um, but I also, you know, currently, I kind of like uh, Kevin Durant, mm -hmm. um, just because I think, you know, his game really speaks for itself. Yeah. So, and he's really humble, so I've always really liked him. Yeah, it's always good that you don't like the more humble players and look up to those yeah, types exactly. of people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And what is your major, and what are your plans to do with it after you leave Benedictine? Um, so I am majoring in nutrition right now, and um, my minor is in biology. Um, I'm planning on becoming a registered dietitian, and then from there, getting my master's and my PhD in some kind of science. Um, from there. That was our student athlete spotlight with Enzo Ronaldo. I'm Luke Stanzik from VenueEagles.com.